Hi, you guys. I'm Mrs. Smith, and I am here to read you one of my favorite stories. It's called Scribble Stones, and it's written and illustrated by Diane Alber. I hope you enjoy. This story is about one happy stone who is gray and round and rarely alone. He lived with the others all stacked in a pile and waited calmly with a large, friendly smile. Ooh, can you spy which one he is? Each stone had a purpose, but it wasn't known yet. Some would be landscaping and some a stone pet. There were so many things that the stones could be. The hardest part was just waiting to see. Stone knew that he had, a, or that his purpose would brighten someone's day. He just wasn't sure how or in what kind of way. He imagined the things that he might soon become as he watched all the stones get picked one by one but his happy face slowly turned into a frown as he watched the tall pile start to dwindle on down. And although he was worried, he tried not to care until it was clear he was the last one there. Then it finally happened. Stone was quickly picked up. He was placed on a desk next to a very large cup. Look at that smile, he seems so happy. Stone looked around. He thought, this is so great, but he soon discovered he was a dull paperweight. I'm supposed to bring happiness, happiness, not hold paper still. There must be a mistake. I just can't be my skill. Looks so sad. Then all of a sudden a splatter flew high. Then some bright scribbles came wiggling by. They were headed right towards the short paper stack and they filled up the paper on the front and the back. They were all making art. It was happening so fast. Stone feared that the paper would simply not last. Look at all those colorful drawings. He couldn't believe just how much the pile grew. Then he heard a small cry from the spun splatter crew. He knew that his pile was getting too tall. There is no more paper. We have used it all. The scribbles all cried. They now saw it too. This is a disaster. Oh, what will we do? Stone didn't want the scribbles to cry, so he thought of something that they all could try. He slowly rolled down the very large pile and said, I know how to make you all smile. I know I'm not a paper, but I like art too. Do you think you could spare some red, some red yellow, and blue? Okay, let me jump down. They loved the idea and could not wait to start. Squirrel began making him a happiness art or a happiness heart. Splatter then painted some pale baby blue. Another scribble added a sunny gold hue. It didn't take long before more stones showed up and soon the line grew behind the large red cup. To stone surprise, he was picked up once more and or he had never heard of this happening before. More art was added and he was on his way to become a small gift to brighten someone's day. Nearby, another stone's journey had begun. He was spreading such happiness and having great fun. Every time he traveled, someone added their part sometimes just to scribble, sometimes fancy art. With each new layer, there was a story to share and soon scribble stones were seen everywhere. They traveled the planet. It was quite an event, bringing happiness and fun wherever they went.
all now thousands of stones inspire creativity each day all because of a paperweight with a will and a way so right here it's talking about a scribble stone art project that you can do all right so it says scribble stones are intended to inspire creativity and spread happiness through collaborative arts how it works you find a stone and add some art a scribble a splatter or a happiness heart then give it away and let someone know that this scribble stone makes happiness grow it's so very simple and easy to do just add some more art and give it away too so you do that and people can add to it okay so i hope you like today's lesson today's story of the scribble stone take care have fun